Alright you guys, got another video here for you on how to empty your recycle bin when shutting down your PC. So you won't have to empty your recycle bin anymore, you just have to create a batch file and then make sure that runs on shutdown and we'll show you how to do it in this video. So first what you want to do is open up Explorer here, go to view and then look at the options area, change your folder options here and go up to the view tab. Make sure that you've got show hidden files, folders and drives and also make sure the tick is removed from hide extensions for known file types. Once you've got this done it means you'll just be able to see the extension on those files. Next up what we're going to do here is go down to the search box and type notepad and open up the notepad. It's a brand new blank notepad. What we can do here is now paste in this piece of text. You can see here is using PowerShell. I'm going to do file, save as, and what we need to do here is change the save type as all files and then give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name of empty, say, recycle bin, something like that. You can call yours whatever you like. Once you've done that, you need to put an extension on the end of .bat and this is short for batch file. So we're going to save. I'm going to save that to my desktop. We can get rid of this now. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how this works, but I'll also make this run automatically on shutdown using the group policy editor. So when I open this up, you should see the recycle bin empty. So that's emptied out. Now what we're going to do here now is make this run on shutdown in the group policy editor. So go back down to the search box here and type GP edit and open up the group policy editor. You will need to have Windows 10 Pro and above to use the group policy editor. So once we've got the local group policy editor open, we're going to go over to the left hand side here and we're using computer configuration. Then we're going to Windows settings, open that little drop down there and then go to scripts. Start up and shut down. As you can see on the right hand side we should have two of them, shut down and start up. Just hit the shut down one. So what we're going to do is go to show files and we're going to drop in our batch file into there. So just go show files. You should see the scripts area here in the shutdown for our group policy this machine and I'm just going to open up the desktop here and drop in basically our empty recycle bin .bat file. Click continue and there it is it's dropped in there now. Now we need to just add this to our jobs list so what I'm going to do here is close that off close this off then we're going to go to add and now we can add in the script name by hitting the browse button and just hit the one we just added inside the scripts and shutdown folders there. So once you've done that, we can now click OK. And this will add in the script and run it from that location. All we need to do here now is click Apply and OK. And that will just make sure that that runs. You can see it there. So if I click on this, there's little, another tab here called PowerShell scripts. If you've got PowerShell scripts that you want to run, you can run them from here as well. You can add them in the same sort of process. If you want to see more videos on this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to make more videos on this topic. So what we're going to do here is close this off because we've got our script already added in. Now we need to update our policy. So I'm just going to quickly do that by going into the search box and type in CMD. Now you can restart your PC, that will also update the policies. I'm just going to quickly update the policy by using the command prompt here and type GP update and then space forward slash force push enter and this will update all the policies on this PC. So you can see it's updating the policy now. Once we've done that it's set in stone and ready to roll so when I shut down a PC it will empty out the recycle bin and I won't have to worry about it anymore. 
So that's about it for this video. Hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I'll see you again for another video. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.